Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCal. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we are going to create an absolutely beautiful timeline graphic in PowerPoint. We're going to be using multiple slides and there's a lot to cover, but don't be intimidated. This is actually very easy to do. Let's get started. Step one, set up the PowerPoint timeline graphic. Okay, so assuming that you guys have a blank slide right in front of you, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and click on format background and you're gonna change the background of this slide. Now, of course, you don't really have to do this, but if you want that little extra effect, you know, that little sense of cool, if you wanna call it that, then go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna change mine to this perky, happy little blue uh, over here. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to insert, I'm gonna click on text box, I'm just gonna draw the text box over here. Now this text box is going to be my title. I'm just going to type a beautiful timeline infographic, just like that. And I'm going to center it, I'm gonna change the font to railway, and I'm gonna change the font size to around 40. Let's just stretch that out, just like that gonna bring this up a bit as well so it's just here and I'm gonna make this white I'm gonna make sure it's centered into the slide by going to uh, home arrange align and then align center just like that all right perfect now what I want to do is I want to go to insert and then click on shapes and click on this shape right over here which is the circle hollow click on that hold shift and just draw out a shape just like this now I'm just gonna zoom in here I'm gonna remove the outline I'm gonna make this white. I'm just gonna increase the size just a bit, and I'm gonna center that to the slide, similar to the way I did before, by going to home, arrange, align, and then align to center. And I think that looks great. Let's just move that down a bit, just like this, and we are good to go. Okay, so the next step is to go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this line effect. You wanna to go to the bottom of the circle, hold shift, and draw down the line, all the way down, right? All the way down here and some. Let it go over your slide canvas and you'll know why I did that in just a second. So from there on, you're going to make this white and you're going to increase the weight of the weight of this line to around four and a half points, just like that. Now, if you're a bit of a perfectionist like me, you're gonna notice that there's a bit of a gap between the circle and the line. It's not that noticeable, so it isn't that big of a deal, but I, I you know, it, this sort of stuff irks me. So I'm just gonna click on this line and just press the up arrow three times, just like that. And I think that looks great. So that is the first slide setup. Now we're gonna set up the second slide and it's really easy to do. All I have to do is just go to your first slide here, press on Control D to duplicate it, delete your heading, for the second slide, delete this little circle and just expand on the line that you just had all the way up like this. And of course, change the background color if you would like. So I'm going to change mine to this happy yellow that we have over here. And then finally, you're gonna do this one more time by duplicating the first slide again, just like I said, bring it down just like this. And you're going to delete the heading just like that. You're going to highlight both of these guys here, the line and the circle, and you're going to press on Control G to group it all up, rotate it just like this, and bring this up just like that. There, perfect. So now what you wanna do is you want to change this background color to another color if you would like again, and I'm gonna make mine red, awesome. So what you see over here, right, is the effect that we're looking for, which is one slide continues into the next slide, which continues into the next slide. And that is the first step completed. Step two, create one milestone with a date. Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing on a date is because this is a timeline, which is why you need a time component in your slide. In my case, I'm using a month and a year to demonstrate that. So what I'm gonna do first, right, is I'm going to go to insert, click on shapes and click on the circle over here. 
gonna zoom in a bit just like this and I'm just going to draw out a circle just like that put it in the middle of the slide make it white with no outline I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller and I think we're good to go from that end that signals a milestone within our timeline right and we're going to attach some text and icons to it to expand on that milestone all right so what I'm going to do now is the following I'm going to go to insert I'm going to click on text box and I'm just going to draw the text box on the left side first right and type in January January can't spell 2018 there we go I'm going to make the font size around 35 and I'm going to align it to the right and I'm going to change it to railway to keep it consistent I want to make it all in one line so I'm just going to do something like this and of course I'm going to make it white I'm going to highlight both of these points now and then I'm going to go to arrange align and then align middle to make sure everything is aligned perfectly and I believe that is the second step completed step three expand on the milestone what you have to know is that you just signaled a milestone right over here in your timeline and you gave it a time component now is the time to expand on it and give that milestone life right you want to expand on it and talk about it and talk about what you did or what happened or whatever it is right so this is the approach i take with my expansion you could do whatever you'd like the first thing i would do is look for an icon that talks about my point now to speed up the tutorial, I'm gonna be using these icons that you see right over here. Let's just make them white for convenience's sake. And I'm going to show you how I use those icons as I go along. Just a quick note about these icons, they are completely editable as you can see over here. You know, you can change the color, you can you know, add an outline to it if you'd like, you can do whatever you want. You can actually get these icons and more in a PowerPoint template that we recently released called Business Casual. In fact, there are just under 300 icons in this PowerPoint template alone. If you want to check out the Business Casual PowerPoint template, then please click on the link in the description or click on the info tab on the top right corner of this video. But for right now, we're going to continue with this tutorial. So I'm going to be clicking on this icon over here, which is the icon of the world. and I'm going to be bringing it to the left side just like this. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert, click on text box, and then click on the text box over here. So I'm just going to be typing in a title that corresponds to my milestone, right? So because I have a world icon, let's do something catchy. I don't know. The world was reborn. Something along those lines. It could be whatever you'd like. But, um, I'm going to make the font size 14. And I'm going to make the font white so it can match the rest of the slide as you can see. So I'm going to bring that up a bit. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert, click on text box and just draw the text box just like this. And uh, I'm just going to type paste in some gibberish here, which is a quick brown fox jumps over the whatever. And uh, I'm going to make it white. I'm going to set the font size to around 14. And I'm just going to expand on this. Actually, let's make let's make this 11. Let's make this 11 just like this. Um, just going to expand on the box a bit, just like that. And I'm going to highlight both the title and the text box. Go to arrange, align, and then align left. Now, I'm just going to bring this up a bit, just like this. And I'm going to go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on this line. I'm going to draw a horizontal line between the, uh, the title and the text box. So I'm going to draw it out here, just like this. And I'm going to make it white. White. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to move this just slightly. Just like that. Just move this a bit shorter. There we go. There is our little text expansion. We're going to highlight everything. We're going to group it. And we're going to make everything talk to one another by aligning it perfectly. So I'm just going to highlight everything that you just saw here. Go to arrange, align, and then align middle. And boom. Beautiful. That is our first milestone, and that milestone is going to serve as a reference point to all the other milestones you're going to have in the slide, which you're going to see in just a bit. Step four, repeat steps two and three to continue the timeline graphic. All right, so the bulk of the work is now done. Now it's just a copy-paste game. Yep, you heard me right. The first thing you want to do is you want to highlight everything and group it up. You want to move it down just like this, right? Then when you have enough space between your first point and your second point, 
Let's move that down a bit more. Go to arrange, align, sorry, arrange, rotate, and then click on flip horizontal. Now I know everything looks weird, everything looks broken. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you fix all of that. Move it so that the circle, right, is in the center of the line. So this circle over here, you're gonna move the entire box until that circle's in the center of the line. So do this, basically. Perfect, okay. Now what you wanna do is you want to click on your date first, and make sure it's aligned to the left. You want to click on the title over here, align to the right, and of course your text box over here and align it to the right as well. Boom, it's that simple and it's that easy. You don't have to keep doing anything. That's all you have to do. Right now, you have a template in place to play around with anything however you'd like. So I'm going to be bringing in this house over here, for example. I'm gonna press Control X to cut it. I'm gonna delete this world icon. I'm gonna paste it again. And now I'm just gonna type in house was built or something. And let's say that this was in, I don't know, March, 2018, right? So that's the first slide done. So I'm just gonna cut these guys, move on to the second slide, which is over here. So we already have, you know, milestones uh, aligned to the right and milestones aligned to the left. So that's all we need to play around with from now on. So I'm gonna group this up. Oh, sorry, it's already grouped up. I'm gonna group the second one, sorry. Just like that. I'm gonna highlight both, just like this, and copy and paste, just like that. So I'm just gonna move it up here. I'm gonna click on the first one over here and click on Control V, just bring that down all the way here. And I'm going to highlight all three boxes just like this. Go to Arrange, go to Align, Distribute Vertically. Boom. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to do the same technique that I applied in this reference point for all my other icons and text boxes. Just for you guys to get it, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. So uh, first of all, let's change the date. So let's say that this happened in, I don't know, it comes after March, April, I guess. Um, so that's going to be April. I'm going to ungroup everything. I'm going to move this thumbs up icon over here in the center of the world. I'm gonna press Control X to cut it. I'm gonna delete the world icon. I'm gonna press thumbs up. I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna paste the thumbs up icon over here, so that's all good to go. Same thing with. Oh, sorry. I have to change the title here. Um, thumbs up were given, I guess. Sorry. A thumbs up was given. My bad. So uh, and then it jumps to the sec, the, the, sorry, the fourth one over here, because remember, we're counting from this slide over here. We have January, March, we have April, right? This it can happen sometime in June, I guess. And we're just gonna put this clock over here, ungroup everything, delete the house, paste, and we can type in time was ticking to reflect the clock over here. And then what you want to do is you want to press Control Shift G again. You want to delete. Sorry, you don't want to delete that. You want to move the house mug over here. Press Control X. Delete it now. Paste it. Uh, I don't know. A coffee smelled good. I'm just gonna expand that. Maybe add a question mark because I have no idea what I'm writing. And let's just say this happened. I don't know. Uh, in. November, I guess, right? And then we're just gonna jump into the last two points over here. So I'm just gonna control X these two icons over here, paste them here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, highlight these two points like before, paste them just like this and move them all the way up here. Just like that, I think that looks great. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. So, ungroup, move this question mark icon over here, press Control X, delete the world, paste, and same thing. Actually, let's just change the date now. So this is November, let's say that this is December, and uh, we can say questions were raised. Um, finally, we're going to uh, move this little death icon. I don't know why I brought that, but hey, 
we're in too deep now, so we're going for it. Uh, we're going to change this to, I don't know, January 2019. I don't want to make this about death. Let's just say like uh, hazards were, I don't know, identified. Let's just go with that. And boom. All right, so that's it. That's really it, right? But there is one more step that you need to take and it's all done with a click of a button. Click of a button, no joke, which will give this whole timeline graphic that wow factor. Step five, polish it all up with a push transition. Okay, so let's talk transitions for a second. Transitions are essentially animation effects that are used for slide navigation. Essentially, it's a cool way to move from one slide to another slide. That's all there is to it, but there is some functionality to them as I will show you in just a second. Just to give you an idea of where transitions are, you can click on any slide that you have over here, click on transitions, and you can see crazy amount of them. So if, for example, I wanted to click fade, you can see my slide fade into being, I guess. If, for example, you see flash, you can see my slide flash right into um, the content that you see in the stream. If you click on fracture, you can see my whole slide break and you know come in, come come in between it. Uh, if you click on I don't know airplane, you can see you know the whole slide do all that fun stuff, right? So you want to use transitions strategically because you want to tell your audience that I'm moving from this slide to this slide to this slide, and even though I'm moving between these slides, right? They all talk to the same point and highlight that this is all part of the same message, right? The same timeline. So you want to use it strategically. So to do that, you have to click on the second and third slide, not the first, the second and third slide. Then you're going to click on the push transition over here. That way, when you go full screen and you're ready to show off your slides, you have this timeline infographic over here. Boom. It moves on to the next one. Boom. It moves on to the third one. So you're still telling your audience that this is the same timeline. You're using multiple slides for the exact same message but it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning and it flows, right? That's the key here. It all comes together and it looks gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you this week. I will see you guys next time. Please do like this video. Please do share it and please do leave a comment. And hey, visit slidecow.com, right? Visit slidecow.com. There are tons of resources there that can help you become PowerPoint professionals, guaranteed. 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 So please do visit psychout.com and consider signing up to the mailing list. And of course, if you need anything, I'll be right here. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.